Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this session, I will show you how to troubleshoot latency in SQL Server transaction replication. Let's get started. When troubleshooting performance in transaction replication, we should break down the flow of data into conversation steps. Then, we should examine the performance of each step. This will help find where the bottleneck is happening. When transaction replication happens, we know that there is a log reader agent, which is created inside distributor. This agent has two threads doing a job. One thread is reader thread, and another one is writer thread. Log reader reader thread runs SP REPL command storage procedure and scans transaction log for any transactions to be replicated. After getting the transaction logs from the reader thread, writer thread in the distributor writes this transaction to the distributor database by using SPMS add REPL command storage procedure. And then another agent, distribution agent comes into play. This agent also has reader and writer threads. Reader thread of it reads the data from distribution database by using SPMS get REPL commands sort procedure and places it into the queue, making it ready to move to subscriber. Writer thread then takes these transaction logs from the queue and replicates it to subscriber. This writer thread uses different stored procedure depending on what kind of transaction you are replicating. For example, if you are using insert command, it uses insert related storage procedure. If uh, your transaction is related to delete command, it uses delete related storage procedure. There is also other history writer threads writing summary data to distribution database. We should also be aware of this. So, if you are facing latency, you should investigate these four steps and find out where the latency is happening. What tool to use to find out where the latency is happening inside these four steps, right? I usually use tracer tokens. I have my own flowchart to troubleshoot latencies in transaction replication. Suppose you detected latency, so what is the next step? You insert tracer token and investigate where the latency is happening. If the latency is between publisher and distributor, we should investigate the log reader agent performance and its threads. Specifically, we should first look at MS log reader history table to determine the issues with reader or writer thread. If it does not help, we can also check activity monitor and determine what, what the reader or writer thread is waiting on. If the latency is not between publisher and distributor, we should check latency between distributor and subscriber. If the latency is there, we follow the same flow, but only for distribution agent. If you cannot find latency even here, it means replication is working fine without latency. Let's try these steps with actual examples. I have distributor, publisher, and subscriber. I'm replicating this AdventureWorks 2000 database and the contact type table article inside this database. I have generated latency issue in this environment. I'll tell you later what the issue is. Now, we will troubleshoot this issue. Let me insert several data to this replicated table. After inserting the data, if we check undistributed comments, we can see that our comments are not being distributed to subscriber. There is latency happening. So what's the first step we should do? First, we insert tracer tokens. As you can see, publisher to distributor replication is going well, but the replication process between distributor and subscriber is staying pending. It means the latency is happening here. If we look at our flowchart, in this case, we should investigate distributor agent performance, right? First, we should look at distribution agent history, right? For this, we go to replication monitor and click on our publication. This publi publisher to distributor is log reader agent history. We need distribution agent history. So we go to this distributor to subscriber history tab. As you can see, there is not log being logged, but we are facing latency. For older agent history, we can also investigate. We can go to distributor and investigate agent histories with T-SQL. Here I'm interested in distributor agent, so I'll run this command. I'm investigating history logs by specifying my agent ID. You can find distribution agent ID by using this query. 
In my case, ID is 3. As you can see, there are more history logs here, but in my case, they are even not useful here. Okay, I cannot get anything from here. History logs are not telling me anything. Since history logs did not help, let's switch to next step. We go to distributor, open activity monitor, filter by application name. We choose our distributor agent name here. As you can see, session ID is 59. We can also confirm that database name is distribution, which also indicates that this is a reader thread. What this reader thread is doing is running MS get REPL commands, which is expected, right? If we look wait type and wait time, we cannot find anything because the wait is not happening on the reader thread. If there would be wait in reader thread, we would know here there would be some kind of wait time and wait type. So reader thread is okay. Let's look at writer thread. For this, we go to subscriber where writer thread is located and check activity monitor. As you can see, wait is happening on writer thread with wait type wait for with big wait time. So the issue is with writer thread. So what is writer thread doing? It is running insert related storage procedure. So now, what do you think the problem is? What, what is the issue here? If it would be some kind of IO related issue, we would see IO related uh, wait type, but we are seeing that wait for wait type. The problem is I just added wait for comment in the storage procedure, which caused the latency. This is a simple example, of course, but can be very much handy. The most important point in troubleshooting latency is to find where we are waiting and what we are waiting for. And I showed how to do this. If, for example, you have memory, CPU, IR contention issues, you will be able to find wait types related to this contention in activity monitor in either reader or writer threads. After defining wait type, you will be able to investigate the corresponding resource accordingly. For example, if you have slow IO subsystem, you might have wait type like page IO latch in the wait type. Then you can collect performance monitor or stop port traces and troubleshoot IO issue. If you want to know how to troubleshoot IO issue, please refer to my another video. Please do not forget to subscribe if you find this video useful. Thank you.